It is the ultimate off-roading vehicle that Mahindra has ever offered to the Indian 4x4 enthusiasts. The Mahindra Thar drove out of the Nasik plant on 21st December 2010. And since then, the Thar hates Thar. Armed with the most powerful engine in its category, coupled to the legendary four-wheel drive system, the Thar is right at home, be it on the highway or on the jungle trail. It's a capable machine and you must know how to play with your Thar to really have fun. So we're going to talk about the Thar's transfer case today. Essentially it's a part-time four-wheel drive, uh, so it has got two modes, 2H, 4H and 4L. And we are right now driving up the steep slope in 2H. Not the ideal thing to do, but we'll see how far we can get. Yes, so that's about it. Now we can't go any further, you can hear the wheel spinning. So now the ideal thing to do is to stop and get your gearbox into 4H. One click down is 4H. Now what this means is power is going to all the four wheels. Now we'll try and get out of 4H, but since we've stopped, it might not still uh, be able to pull us out, but let's try. Yeah, just about managed to get out, but we stalled. So now we have the second, uh, the third mode rather, 4L, it's called the low range. It's left hand down and click there. So now what 4L is going to do is we are going to get a lot of torque, we are going to get a lot of acceleration but we not get a lot of speed. But we do not need speed here, we just need torque and acceleration to get out of this sticky situation where, where we are. So I'll just start the car again, put it into first and do not use too much throttle because we are going to spin the wheels. So just minimum throttle and we should be able to get out. I'm lucky I have a winch with me, electric winch with me. So I will have to do a self recovery, which is which seems to be the only option. As you can see this is an electric winch. What we'll have to do is to we have to unlock this and try and pull this out. This is free spool mode and in order to pull uh, this particular row it should be in free spool so that things become quicker. And I've just with a lot of difficulty took out the entire cable and found a tree and put around it using a tree trunk protector. Now I am all alone and all I have is winch and a four wheel drive low range gearbox and I have to get out of this mess. This is called winch remote and you can either spool in or spool out using this remote. If you press this side, you'll have to see the instructions are quite uh, easy. If you press this, this is in, that's how it'll spool in and it'll start pulling you in and to release it, you have to spool out. So it's a pretty simple mechanism, but beware, do not overload the winch, use it intermittently and don't burn it preserve your winch because you know that in off-road condition critical off-road conditions your life may be dependent on it
what I did precisely was to use this remote and slowly spool in and use the throttle modulation and come out slowly, inch, inch myself out of that mess. The golden rule of off-roading is never go out alone. Always have another vehicle with you to help you out of sticky situations. But if you managed to get stuck all by yourself, here are a few things you can do. Get out and dig. Free up the wheels and use the rubber mats for traction. Reduce tire pressures to give your vehicle a bigger contact patch. Rock the vehicle back and forth using first and reverse gear to free up the vehicle. Steer left and right, lock to lock to offset yourself and form another track. Sometimes the best thing to do is call for help and wait. Off-roading is not about speed, but adequate momentum. In rock crawling, things get even slower. Rock crawling is about precision driving and being able to place individual wheels on specific rocks to avoid beaching the vehicle or rolling it over. Rock crawling involves using the low range, often in first gear, to inch your vehicle over rocks. You need to possess a decent amount of pedal skills to be a successful rock crawler. With the Thar's relatively faster crawl, you should use some brake pressure to control the rate of movement. The key is to be smooth and gentle and have a good understanding of the vehicle's dynamics and its crawl ratio. So we're gonna come to a party trick now. And right about here. Grab the wheel. I'm off. Duty time's over. I'm off. I keep talking about the fact that the car doesn't really require a driver. And this is proof. It can do this entire loop on its own. That's the power of the low range. 247 Newton meters of torque going through a low range, low ratio gearbox. We are quite useless actually. But we don't tell that to anyone. So, I tell you, if you power through obstacles, you're probably going to create wheel spin, and wheel spin is wasted traction. So only throttle when you really need it. Otherwise, the car is doing its own job. It's really that good. See you. Uh, so we've had a puncture. It, they always happen at night when it's dirty, when it's raining and, you know. and when you don't have a jack. We had to find a place where we could uh, lift the wheel of the thar and it was and it's very difficult because it's got awesome articulation at the rear. Essentially what you need to do is if you don't have a jack, you need to get that wheel up in the air. Alright, so it's a difficult task. You need to get up onto a mound because of the articulation, it's a little difficult. But ensure you do it safely and ensure you're, uh, you're having your handbrake on and you're in gear, alright? The, the whole idea is to loosen the nuts before you get them up, okay? Otherwise the wheels will move. Now the bolts are loose. We'll, uh, we can try and turn in my head. Okay, so when you put your nuts in place, make sure you do a cross pattern. So one here and the other one there. This is to ensure an even fit. Otherwise when you see from behind, it will be a wobbly tire, which is not a good thing. So Mr. Nuclear, we're almost done. It's your turn now, sir. I'm done for the day.